Gucci Craft. Gucci Craft. What's up, YouTube? It's Gucci, and I'm back. Yes. Um, I'm kind of excited about tonight's video. Um, it's late out here, and it's kind of sprinkling. And usually I don't do this um, in the rain, but we got a little bit of a let up. Um, tonight I'm going to show you guys how I paint my rolling trays. I have a live posted here on YouTube um, about how I paint the trays, or I did a live painting the trays. Um, but you know, there's a lot going on, and you know, talking, asking questions, goofing around. And so I've got some requests to just do a video with just me spray painting the actual rolling slash vanity tray. Um, and so I'm going to do that for you guys tonight. Um, also in preparation for my lunchtime live tomorrow, um, which is the 12th, yeah, December the 12th, um, I'm going to be going live at 1230 on the Craftsmas Facebook page, Craftsmas, C-R-A-F-T-Z-M-A-S. Um, if you follow me, then you know um, that I'm doing 25 days of Craftsmas where I go live every single day myself or some of the other talented young ladies we have on the team um, go live. Um, and you can find that crafting page up until, I think I'm going to leave it up until maybe the first or second week of January. So those lives will be there um, for you guys. After that, we're going to archive the page and then we'll open it up again for Christmas next year. and We'll have more exciting crafts. Um, but I'm going to be um, showing you guys how you can use the trays for more than just vanity or rolling trays. We're actually going to make um, some decorative Christmas trays. And so... They will be painted because I'm doing it at my lunch time at work, y'all. Um, then I won't be able to show you guys how, you know, I spray painted them. So I wanted to make sure that I got this video on YouTube tonight because I know that I'm going to get questions. So I have my little painting station here behind us. Okay, get y'all in a good position. Show you the things um, that you are going to need. Your mask. Bump, bada, bump. This is very important. Um, this is a N95 mask. So you either want an N95 or a P95 mask. Anything with a respirator on it um, is going to help protect you from um, inhaling the paint. So you want to have on a mask, okay? Um, of course, you're going to need the rolling tray. It could be any size rolling tray. Um, they have three different sizes. Um, at the Dollar Tree, that's, that came from the Dollar Tree, and I'm actually going to be using all three of those sizes um, tomorrow on that live. Um, then you are going to need da, 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 your spray paint. Um, this one we're going to be using, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to paint a little decorative um, stamped metal piece um, from the Dollar Tree that I will be using for tomorrow's live as well for the decorative tray. Um, but we are going to be using this black spray paint. Um, I love Rust-Oleum paint. Um, the Painter's Choice paint I like more uh, or better than the American accents, but I needed this um, specific color, and they had it in American accents, so that's what I got. And then you also, this is optional to have the sprayer. This just helps you create an even stream, um, and so I like to use this when I am painting, okay? So, I'm going to put my mask on because I want to protect myself to be here to give you guys more videos, right? Something's happening in the background there. Very close, too. So, we want to make sure that we give our spray paint a really, really good shape. Okay. And I'm only using one glove. You can use two. I'm I'm using one glove because I'm making this video really, really quick for you guys. And then let me kind of move you into a good position there where I think you'll be able to see me in the tray. So we have our tray set up here. This is nothing but a cardboard box that I taped down um, to the table um, and a plastic bag over just to protect my little outdoor table which I use mostly for crafts anyway, but it don't have to look all colorful. <laughs> so you never want to shake the can like this if you need to shake it up. Shake it from here if you have the sprayer on. 
And again, make sure that it's shake, you shake it up really, really well so that your paint will come out evenly. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray from the bottom and sweep up. And I'm sweeping. And I'm just continuously holding the trigger. And then I come back down in that same fashion. Okay? And then what I'm going to do, let's see if I can get you guys a little bit closer to it. It's black, so it's a little hard for you to see. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other side because we have to make sure that we paint the end seam. Okay? Let me see if I can move my light. So I want to move the light a little bit closer for you guys. So you can kind of see in there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to step to the back so that I can paint the inseam of the tray. And by the inseam of the tray, I mean this area here on this side here in the front. Okay? And I'm going to do the same thing in a sweeping motion. Up and down. To make sure that I get that inseam. And also, you want the sweeping motion because you want it to be very, very smooth. You don't want any dripping um, from the tray. I don't want to maneuver it or tilt it too much because we just freshly sprayed it. But I do want to show you guys how smooth and even that is. There's not any pooling um, of paint on here. And we're covered all the way around and even in our end seam. You get pooling when you hold um, in one area for too long. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you keep sweeping across. Okay. And so what we'll do is we'll let this sit for about three, four minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll spray it with a second coat. We'll let that sit about three or four minutes, and then we will go ahead and put our clear coat on it, okay? While we are letting that one dry for three or four minutes, we're gonna come over and we are going to paint our stamped metal piece from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to give this a two-tone paint. You look, you can kind of see the outline of the other ones that I did. So we're going to do this one in black and in pink. I'm going to paint it black first. In the same method, just sweeping across. Now with this one, we're going to want to move it um, off of the cardboard in about 10 or 15 minutes, okay, and move it on over um, to the plastic bag, then give it our clear coat and only let that sit for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then um, move it to another piece of cardboard so that it doesn't actually stay stuck onto the actual plastic or um, the cardboard that's wet with paint. So we're going to shake our pink one up, and I'm actually not going to use the nozzle um, for the pink. I'm going to spray directly. So that's how I'm going to get it two-toned. And so now that is going to be black at the top and our fluorescent pink down at the bottom. With this one, I don't need to give it two coats. Um, this coats very well, unlike the tray. And then with these pieces, you're going to, you know, stick them onto something. They won't be epoxy, um, but I do still give them a clear coat so that they will last and look good. We've had enough time lapse now 
to give ourselves a second coat. So we'll grab our black. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did the first time with my spray. Start at the bottom and go up. Now I'm going to walk over to the back and do the same exact thing. And now we will give that about two or three minutes to go ahead and let it dry a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and spray our clear coat on it. So we've given our tray enough time to go ahead and dry a little bit before we put our clear coat on it. The clear coat I'm going to use, and this is the Painter's Touch, the brand that I prefer over the um, American Accents. They both will cover beautifully. They both um, work just fine. I just personally prefer um, the Painter's Touch um, over the American Accents. They have more colors. Um, they have a, a satin color also. And I, I, I just like um, the flow of that one better. But they both will get the job done for you. Okay. So with this one, I'm going to go ahead and shake it up. And I am going to use my sprayer. Same thing I did with the black. Then walk around to the back. And I probably should have used another color, but I have an order for this black one, so... That one is completely done. We'll sit and let that one dry. You can see the rain. You can if you can hear that rain. It's starting to pick up a little bit again for us. I'm gonna bring you down to our believe. So we're gonna hit that with the clear coat. That's had enough time to sit. Give our clear coat another shake. And I'm just going to go up and down with it. That's just going to give our paint a little bit of protection. Okay. So now one's coming out too. So it looks beautiful. Got my mask on. <laughs> Let's take this glove off. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, probably should have chosen another color other than black since it's dark out here. Um, but I think that you get the concept of how you are supposed to go through and actually, um, sorry, I got food on my lip or something, um, or something from this mask. How you're supposed to go through and actually, um, paint your trays so that they're nice and smooth and even. You don't have too much paint on them. You don't have too little paint on them. You do want to make sure that you are able to get in on both sides of the tray. Um, that's why I have it set up on the table like that so that I am able to go um, in the back. I got stuff everywhere, y'all. So that I am able to go um, in the back so that I can get that inside inseam right in here. That's going to be towards the front of the tray when you spray. When you're spraying over, you're not hitting it. And you don't want to take the sprayer and go directly down like this because then you're going to get pooling. You want to make sure that you're sweeping across in a steady motion. And I'll go, I'll go up and down two or three times. It just depends on, um, you know, the color that I'm looking for in the tray. Um, the, the black, I really want it to be really, really black. So I got the black um, gloss. That's why I had to pick the American accents and not the painter's touch because they didn't have um, the black gloss. Um, but, yes, 
make sure that you don't have too much paint and that you don't have too little paint because it's nothing like painting your tray getting it painted and then you look down and this whole inside of your tray doesn't have any paint on it it, it won't look professional I wouldn't want to buy that from anybody because it'll look like it's half done um, only way to fix the tray if you end up with a tray like that you can fix it with glitter turn it into a glitter tray get some acrylic paint paint some acrylic paint over it and go ahead and lay down some glitter on top of it nobody will be able to tell the difference so you don't have to throw it away it's not a complete loss um, but respray painting it is not really an option either unless you're going for a crackled look um, because after you have gone ahead and given it the two coats and given it its clear coat and actually let it dry, if you come back in and try to add more spray paint to it, the spray paint under there is going to start to crack and it'll give you, it gives a really, really pretty um, crackled look if that's the look that you want to go for, but still your inseam won't be even with the rest of the paint, okay? So make sure that it's nice and smooth and paint it correctly you guys i hope you enjoyed this video do not forget to follow me um on facebook at gucci crafts and then also go and follow the craftsman's page which i will have um in the description box below so that you guys can check out that lunchtime live that i'm going to do tomorrow um december the 12th is going to be at 12 30 pst where we're going to go over um how to make the decorative trays i painted um the square tray, the round tray, um, and I call it like the little oval shaped tray. It's really pretty. Um, a very, very nice, dark, um, like a Christmas green. Um, and then I have some of the stamped metal pieces that I'm going to put on there, and we're going to bring it all together. It's going to be really, really cute, you guys. Dollar Tree DIY, easy craft to spruce up, um, you know, your living room or your kitchen, wherever you want to hang it for Christmas, or if you want to gift it to somebody that just really loves Christmas, um, or you don't have to put, you know, don't have, to have doesn't have to be a Christmas theme. You can paint them any colors you want and add any decals on them that you want and uh, make them hanging trays or trays that actually just sit on top of the easel. They're so versatile. That's why I love them. Until next time, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow because you're going to you're going to go subscribe and like that page. <laughs> Good night. Gucci Crafts. Gucci Crafts.